Hey guys, I'm SKV and you're watching SKV Plays On and welcome to a co-op new start on the Savage Wilds map of Conan Exiles. Uh, this is gonna be a beginning for me and Ezio. Uh, he doesn't talk, but he does chat, so if you can see the chat box, you can see his messages from time to time. Uh, we are just trying this uh, out as a new gameplay for us. Uh, it's a new map for Ezio. I've been on the map uh, quite a lot, but I haven't done maybe more than 20 or 30% of the map. So it will be a bit of a new experience for both of us, I would say. Anyways, uh, Ezio says, Hola. And uh, yeah, let's uh, start it off. Uh, just give me a second as you, I'll see if I can slightly increase the opacity. Opacity, even though I increase the opacity, it's weird how your name kind of doesn't show up when I increase the opacity, but it shows up when I don't increase the opacity. It's weird. I don't know what that's about, but... Uh, <laughs> Anyways, uh, what was our agenda today? Oh yeah, uh, we were supposed to go to Murin. We went to the first place. Uh, let's go check out the uh, second uh, level, shall we? Are you there? Is you? <laughs> okay, let's go. Uh, also, we'll uh, see which place you kind of want to have a base or something. I've already been making a lot of bases, but make sure we have some water to jump into. When we do make a base, see on the map, see which place you like. The Atoll region in the south is actually pretty good, but everything else on the main map will be way too far away from the south. We do have uh, fast travel points on the map, so that's always nice. Shima is always there to uh, take us here and there. Oh, hey, beer man. Uh, <laughs> good to catch you nuts live for a change. Yeah. I mean, we did want to start it off a bit early today. We did want to try and see. Because it literally takes one hour just to, you know, start off this 10 and mid of FNG. Intersection of 10 and mid. Of FNG, okay. Uh, intersection of 10 FNG in the volcano, okay. Uh, that's where the wyverns are, I guess. Yeah, sure, but that place doesn't got it's got no water outside of that uh, volcanic mountain, yeah, but inside of the volcanic mountain. It has, uh, it does have water, but only up to your ankle level. So any type of a dive into it from any height, insta kill. Yeah, we can go nearby. There is that uh, one spot. Uh, you said uh, 10, right? Mid. Just uh, see the intersection at 12, FNG itself. But slightly to the left side, you see that uh, huge island kind of a thing? That's one good spot. I would say. 
Uh, oh, we, we'll uh, we'll go there and check it out. We'll go there and check it out. Yay, yay. Yeah, it's got a water body. It's got some crazy things inside the water also. Oh, uh, type something in the global one second. Uh, did you type anything in the global? Yeah. It's still not showing me. It just shows me the uh, notifications for us getting the... Uh, uh, gold every 30 minutes or so yeah let's go let's keep them moving oh hey g knight welcome to the stream dude we are on a new map today the savage wilds where am i going uh oh sorry this way wait no Wait, I'm lost now. What the heck? Oh, this way. Sheesh. Just one little sand slope and then I couldn't even see where Murin was. Also, this map does get really dark. And since I do use that mod that uh, cancels out the uh, immediate grey light around you. It kind of makes it very hard to see at night if you do not have a torch. But luckily the moonlight does kind of help a little bit. But not too much though. Uh, yesterday me and Ezio, uh, we had already gone to um, the tavern, Murin Tavern. So we checked it out a little bit. Today we're just checking out uh, what's it called. Man, do you guys know any speech bubble kind of uh, mod? Because there is one speech bubble mod, but it's like last updated on 2019. It would have been awesome if uh, Ezio had that one because I definitely miss out these uh, chat messages in the chat box. But if Ezio's uh, speech bubble or something popped up on his head, that would kind of... Uh, definitely don't fight any of them, Ezio. They are neutral, so... Oh yeah, you can kind of go around this place. It's the same as that other place. All the, uh, all the houses or whatever you see with doors on it, you can access them. And also, if you find anything... Oh, what the... Did you access a door? You're crazy. I mean, we do kind of end up... Well, I kind of end up getting stuck every time we fast travel for some reason. It's like those dungeons on Isle of Sipta. Uh, but yeah, check if they have any good stuff. Oh, what is that book? Someone's diary? Uh... Sometimes you have some really cool, uh, well, I don't know, sometimes funny, kind of dark uh, jokes in it. You may want to check it out. This place is like a carpenter's place or something. You got to find better places to, you know, sneak around in. Yeah, no, I guess we have lots of carpenters in this village. Carpenters, well, uh, you'll see, you'll see. Let's get out. Uh, why can't we get out? Ezio, what did you do? Oh, jeez. <laughs> That was weird. Okay, we should probably not take too many chances. But yeah, Ezio, if you want a pet dog, there's one pup right there. It's a random pup. So it could be any of the dogs. Brutus is what everyone wants. Can't say I know of any mod like that. Sounds like a suggestion for Xavier. Well, I did suggest, but... 
<laughs> well, you know, Xavier, Xavier. I mean, it it would be great, but I also thought Pippi would already have it, but Pippi doesn't. Oh, also, as you're on the rooftops, if you climb around, you will definitely find uh, some boxes with some good loot in it. Oh, this one has like a nice weapon if you want. Cutlass, really good uh, damage on it. Do you want it? I am chatting, but I can't see my name. It's just black. Yeah, I can see your name. Uh, only when I made the uh, opacity of the chat box very low made it kind of translucent I can see your name very is very dull but yeah your uh, your name is currently not visible for some stupid reason but that's a uh, co-op gameplay on Conan Exile for you it's a good is a oh hey don't try it on anyone else it's a pretty good weapon we might end up getting something better also also be careful there are some boxes with traps on it Oh, okay. Steel spear. I'll take the spear. I'll take some uh, gas orbs as well. That might come in handy. Hello, we got some wanderer large tent. We could make use of the tent. I told you. I told you. You're dead. Or not. Oh, you made some potions, eh? Nice. Good for you. <laughs> oh jeez it's still active you crazy what did you do <laughs> I can still see the green smoke come on go away it's still active because it has some duration on it I got some gas orbs too they also have okay we got uh, candle light Oh, nice. Steel trident. I wanted that. Hardened, uh, hardened bricks. I don't know. It might come in handy. Not again. You're crazy. Stop stepping on the, <laughs> the thing. This is exactly what I knew is going to happen. Or not. Kinda expected this. I told you there's a trap. And then he's just jumped on it again. Get your torch out. Make sure there's no bear traps or any sort of a plate. Like, come this side, come this side, climb over here. Yeah, do you see that type of uh, button in the floor? It's, you don't have to go on top of it. It's, yeah, now try to search the thing. I actually got a trident, so I'm gonna throw away the Darfari weapon. Gonna use the trident way better. Gonna add this one over here. What the? Wait, I have three of it? Huh. Okay, I think I'm gonna make it two. One second. Building shortcut bar. Make it only two. Save. Uh, I thought traps are one time use. Yeah, for some reason this thing doesn't use it just once. Also, you gotta, you gotta be really, really careful, dude. You, you most of the time get me into trouble. Okay, okay. Alright, where are you now? Are you still searching places? Did you go to the bank, by the way? Did you see the... I don't even know if the ferry is going to be visible. Sometimes it's invisible, the Pippi Thespian skin. But... Ooh! Dude! I got lucky with the steel truncheon! It's gonna be... Okay, here, I got you a two-handed steel sword. You like two-handed weapons, right? 
Where are you? Oh, she's not visible right now. Maybe we gotta come back later. I mean, we can still interact with an invisible thingy. But uh, here, this is your two-handed sword. And I got lucky with the steel truncheon. Nice. Uh, Ezio is great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought you'll probably like him. He's definitely getting me into trouble most of the time. Ezio, this is an NPC I placed. You, you may want to interact with him and see what he has to say. While you check it out, I'll just see if uh, I can exchange some gold. Uh, I have 122 gold right now. Pippi gold. Uh, the fairy is not... You know, kind of... I don't know why. She's uh, invisible. Sometimes she's there. Sometimes she's not there. Sometimes she's there. I don't know. Maybe next time we come back, she's visible again. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. Currently, I don't have too much gold to spend on this one. Now, we need to get some better armor so that I know who's you and who's not you. Also, I thought this guy had like a... Greetings, Wanderer. Yeah, As Golem Construction, you can learn that. Winding road has brought you to me. I am a Ezio says hello stream chat this is son of Sparda oh yeah Ezio is going as uh, Dante he's kind of look at that he's gone with the Dante's looks <laughs> yeah, it's pretty close with that hairstyle oh well, he's on the stream chat also now <laughs> okay come on did you pick up the doggy Ezio Where's the bank? You were just in the bank. You don't see your vault. Also, don't you see people who are trading gold to bronze, silver to bronze, and then a pippy wallet, fairy, invisible one? Bank robbery? Eh, you could try. I mean, no, let me let me just check. I don't think. Nah, this door is not accessible. I wonder if there is a way to kind of attempt a bank robber. But here's the thing, Ezio. You see this huge vault? Right? Yeah, go behind the full structure and see how far it goes. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it doesn't even pop out. When we make that vault, it's gonna be huge. Okay, also speaking of which, you wanna check out this place a bit more thoroughly. There's always some good stuff. Like I said, I'm just collecting... Oh, we got the tent. The, uh, the tent we were using on Exile Lands, we got that one. Or I got that one. Okay, uh... It's not like they can arrest you, right? No, they're just gonna kill you. Directly. Holding screen... What the heck is that? I don't know what that is. Also, if you notice, there are a lot of... Uh, profession trolls in this place. That we could try and knock out. But here's the thing. Uh, I need to buy that uh, converter. I don't know if... Uh, let me just check. One second. Economy. Drifter merchant has it. Yeah, I can buy it from the drifter merchant. Also, I hope you're close by. Oh, there you are. Okay. I'm on a rooftop. Uh, just checking out things. That was actually kind of nice. Getting lucky with the truncheon. A steel one nonetheless. We can definitely get some thralls very early on. 
Wait, have I been here for some? Yeah, it feels like I've been here. Shall we move on, Ezio, or do you want to explore a bit more? Ow. <laughs> a beer man says, hey. Also promoting the uh, Blades of Chaos. <laughs> he already knows, beer man. He already knows. He's a fan of your uh, mod. He's probably going to start making that. Actually, you know what? Don't make it. Not yet, at least. Because we've already been using too much of the uh, Blades of Chaos recently. And also, oh, Beerman, did, uh, did you make it on purpose where uh, we're doing those uh, mid-air flips or something we are not able to dodge? Because that feels very balanced out. At least I think so. Ezio didn't uh, get a chance to like dodge at all every time he was doing like a major combo. You know? Me also. And then I started using the basic uh, horizontal spin so that I was able to kind of dodge out of the uh, way. Can we sit on this? No. Nope. Yo ho, Ezio. Where is he hiding now? Oh, he's outside. Nanda, what happened? What are you dumping? Over encumbered, is it? Uh, let's go see if we can. What are you making? Gruel? Are you gonna make gruel? Yeah, the dodge windows are set up realistically. That That's actually pretty good. It makes you want to kind of decide what combos to use against a enemy. It made me decide. So, Ezio didn't decide. If you saw that video, he did not decide. He didn't care. He just kept going head on. That's because he knew that he's going to spawn back to me. <laughs> but the fun part was he kept spawning back on his bedroll and I was fighting the dragon right near his bedroll. Nanda, is your why'd you put a campfire down? <laughs> Ezio is doing making something. He's probably preparing some food. What else would you do on a campfire, right? You need seed and plant fiber for uh, gruel. Gruel will give you both uh, food content and water content. Very less water content, but uh, still, you can make a lot of uh, gruel with just seed and plant fiber. Just picking up the plant fiber should give you random seeds also. Yay, yay. I think I can... It's getting to be morning, so it should be good. I hit play. Boom. They are pretty heavy, by the way. I'm just letting you know. Pass me. Wait, why am I going to your container? I'll take 50 of it. Uh, okay, dude. Uh, see which knowledge you can unlock right now. Uh, I mean, uh, journey step. See if you can... Hello. None of the journey steps are unlocked. Okay, we got a... Finish with the uh, first one so that the others are available, maybe. Yeah, everything is locked right now. Uh, finish the first one, dude. Gather plant fiber, craft... Uh, you crazy. You already did most of it, didn't you? Hey, that was my plant fiber. Come on. 
Come on, come on, come on. Come in, come in. And attribute points, oh yeah, uh, vitality, just for that uh, passive heal. Thank you, thank you very much, gather stones. You better pick up the campfire, don't leave it here and there. Always be neat and tidy. Something's attacking me, oh crap. Oh, it's attacking you, you don't want to fight near the... Be careful, don't hit one of the N NPCs. They are neutral, but uh, one person gets hit and everyone's angry. That's the type of village we are in. Everyone looks out for each other. Kind of a deal. Gather yeah, branches, where the heck are branches now? Do you see any branches? Eh... No, no. <laughs> I don't see any branches. You completed yours? Okay. Uh, choose like... Um... Oh, hello. Ostriches. But no branches nearby. Okay, I'm going to the uh, other side of this place. Let's go. Uh, see if you can unlock the dismantle table, the improved one, or uh, improved tanner table. Either of those two. Whichever has uh, something we can kind of complete. Also, let's uh, quickly start uh, finding a nice spot for a base. Let's go get our uh, starter stuff. Ezio, let's go. Uh, how much gold do you have? Uh, go to your inventory. And on the bottom left side, you'll see Pippi wallet. With the gold coin, silver coin, bronze coin. How much gold do you have? 90? Okay, cool. Uh, spend it wisely. Uh, we are gonna go to... Hello, doggy. Maybe some other time. I'm gonna go into first person mode. Feels more uh, smoother. Also, you'll get to see some uh, things that I've placed up top here. Siberian Husky. Where? Uh, you don't get Siberian Huskies, you get like a. Uh, Alsatian or probably German Shepherd, maybe. I tried to beat the Kratos boss NPC. You made a Kratos boss? Okay. And he killed me four out of five times. Look forward to incorporate. <laughs> Wait, you're adding a Kratos boss? That's gonna be fun. That's gonna be fun. As you know, this is the place where you'll find all sorts of NPCs. That's Valeria. If in case you find some corpse or something and you pick it up and you get like a report. Like a scout report. You come and give that paper to her and she'll give you 25 gold coins. Just for bringing back a piece of paper. So keep an eye on... Uh, well, keep an eye out for any corpses that you can interact with and they actually give you scout reports. It's usually corpses that are there near campsites that look like they got killed by the camp uh, dwellers, basically. You like her already? She is from uh, Red Brotherhood Assassin Moment. <laughs> yeah. Also, if you want, you can collect uh, some of the aloe. You might need it later. 
Oh, also, come here. Come with me. Let me show you the uh, butcher. So, basically, that's the butcher's place. This one here, fruits and vegetables. You can talk to her. If you go away from her, she'll stop uh, doing the talking actions and then she'll pose like that. So if you go close to her, she'll start talking to you. This one I made. Time pass. She has all sorts of stuff. Uh, let's see. Maybe I want to get uh, Druid Cuisine. Fishbowl. Fishing Instruction Manual. Fishing instruction manual. Fishing record. Uh, I think I can unlock that myself. But uh, let's see. Knowledge. One second, as yo. I'm just unlocking a few things. Basic things. I need to be level 10. You gotta be kidding me, bruh. Level 17. And I ain't gonna wait till then. Fishing record, give me that. I got a fishing record. If you wanna buy a fishing record, go for it. It's that uh, piece of paper that uh, is a leaderboard for us. Cooked rabbit. It's admin spawn only, can be a boss or a troll. I'll probably add it as a boss. Uh, where is cooked rabbit? Oh, oh, yeah, cooked rabbit. I don't know, it has some kind of healing abilities and all that. If you want to buy it, it's five gold coin, but I would rather kind of <laughs> as you strike to get a mount, dude. As you hippie coin is completely separate from the other coin items that you get in your inventory camel and crocodile i know i know what'll it be may set to guide your steps but uh let me let me show you other places now come here let's see if uh, the butcher is in oh hey buddy the butcher is here Let's see if uh, I'll get some ice. Purchase two of it. And then uh, essence of. Oh my god, 500. Yeah, <laughs> I don't have 500. Okay. Chuck it. Yeah, yeah, you can explore as you. Lots of things in this place you want to interact with, check out. Also, do you want to learn... Uh, what, what's your religion anyway, Ezio? What religion did you choose? I'm uh, Derketo. What did you choose? Ezio always trying to mount something? Yeah. <laughs> Kinda. He likes wyverns though. I made a nice uh, quest for uh, wyverns on this map. He's got to fight wyverns to get wyverns. Yeah, the beginning part is always fun. I, I really like just starting over and over. After a certain level or something, I, I start getting bored. So I always start a new map again. Ooh, we got a sorcerer. A good day for a good trade. Not Don't really. See me again when you have more gold to spend. Mitra. Uh, you want to get a free religion knowledge of uh, Zath? By any chance? You don't have to spend 50 uh, points or anything. We can just get it for free. You want to go? SEO. Nanda, yo, where are you? There you are. Cool. Follow me. And don't fight with anyone here. 
also is this uh, named troll no usually there's a named cook over here hopefully they spawn once we get out of the place he <laughs> he this way as yo I'm waiting. Here we go. You see that door behind the counter? Yeah, we gotta go in there. What does it say? Did you find the storekeeper's key? I did say we are uh, trying to find something related to Zath, right? What do you think Zath religion is all about? What did you see outside the door? What do you hear? These are all clues that are there. As yo. Come on, Ezio. Put that uh, Assassin's Creed puzzle solving. No. Stop going into Conan Exiles mode and becoming a barbarian. Think, think. Uh, what do you think Zath religion is about? Or what is the Zath religion's creature? <laughs> Zath is not a dragon. A spider. See anything related to a spider? There we go. Found it. What do you mean, me? I'm not a spider. There we go. Has you got a key? Open the door. You see a lot of spider. Don't kill anything. You don't want to agitate anything in here. Now. Definitely don't want to agitate anyone here. I mean, we could knock her out. But we didn't buy the... Uh, thing yet you see that book on the left side yeah free knowledge now they're just minding their own business as long as you don't start a fight oh hello what is this I didn't see this here Oh, we got a Sand Reaper egg. Purple, purple. What is this? Pepper scroll. I don't know. I'm gonna take the Sand Reaper egg. Uh, even if I get that green color Sand Reaper, that would be pretty good. Wait, did I get the Zap Religion? Uh, one second, just checking. Yeah, got it. Now, we gotta get out. I think you already used up the key. So, come here. Find another key here somewhere. Found it. Let's go. So, basically, all sorts of... Uh, Puzzle stuff is also there uh, on this map. Simple things. Oh, do, do, oh, geez. We almost got caught behind the door. I've gotten caught behind that door quite a few times. Untapped savagery will topple all your problems. Don't listen to him. Barbarism is the only way. Yeah, I know you both will kind of hit it off. Ezio doesn't listen to me, he just goes swinging his sword. Next thing you know, he's coming back towards me with a hundred people chasing him. Ooh, 
getting a lot of gold there. As yo, do you want like uh Oh I got an offhand. Never mind, I'll keep it. Ooh, got a steel pick, boy. Just looking for things on this place you end up getting. Maybe I can find a sickle. Not to mention how I saved you in the dungeons. What do you mean you saved me? You get killed by running into the enemies head on. The only reason you're safe is because I'm the host. I try to stay out of trouble so that we don't pop up somewhere else because we forget to put the bedroll. Especially you. Because you run in first, I forget to put the bedroll. Even now we don't have a bedroll anywhere. Oh no, did he fight someone? Where'd he go? Is he out? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Why is the door blocked? What do you think? So that you don't enter. <laughs> you want to go into every house, don't you? You sneaky thief. Uh, I'm just trying to see if uh, we can find some boxes. Oh, jeez. Actually, give me a few minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. Oh, man, I'm getting lucky. I got a skinning knife now. I got the whole dealio. We got that. And a skinning knife right there. A truncheon. Maybe I'll put it in... Uh, yeah, I'll put it in one. And then two can have this. Need to make some bindings, but first... I haven't even reached... Oh! Hide. Torch. Clan. Exiles extreme. I don't have points. Hello. Uh, whichever doesn't cost any points, that is what I want to unlock. Wait, why can't I unlock? Okay, level 10. Man, we really need to start fighting things now. Decorative campfires, eh, not yet. Sicky clan stuff. Yay, yay. Anything else? If I unlock this right now, which is kind of required. Tools, on the other hand, I still haven't unlocked anything because I haven't reached any level. Oh, campfire. You are steel clad. <laughs> Maybe I can find some more tools by the time Ezio is here. Where are the boxes? Hmm, oh. What is this? How lucky is this? Look at that. I got a pickaxe. Yeah, boy. I just need a cleaver and a sickle and I'm good to go. Hmm. Probably all the way up. Oh, two boxes. What do we got? What do we got? Another truncheon. I can give this to Ezio. 
Nice. Oh, that's a uh, javelin. Large bonfire would be pretty cool for a campsite. Ow. Yoi. What do we have here? A gong. More hardened steel bricks. I'm just gonna pick up the hardened steel bricks. I know I'll need it at some point. Uh, so now what? This place also has some Kari war axe knowledge and all that. Okay. But I'm not getting any Kari steel right now. Yo, I'm not Xavier. Xavier is the cord wizard. Wait, he called you Xavier? <laughs> Your name's right there. How did he call you Xavier? Nada, it's yo. Where'd he go? He's still AFK. Oh, hello, priest. Not named one. Wish it was a named one. Oh. What is that sound? Are you back, Ezio? I can't see your messages, though. I'm a bit far away from you. Uh, just, uh, I got the Acolyte of Set also. Maybe we can make some poison arrows. Yay, yay. I kind of want to kick this person off. This is Sparta. I want to shout and then kick them off. But is it going to be a problem? Okay, I'm uh, going to kick them off. And we might be in trouble, as you might get into trouble and get killed. Hmm. What do I do? As you are you back yet? It's cool. I take no offense. But Xavier is a far better mother. You both are pretty good in your own ways. Don't need to be modest here. Well, there goes someone, and I go somewhere. Yeah. Ezio, stay away from people. I just agitated them, and they've gone a bit crazy. Also, I'm getting some gold coins while I'm at it. Lots and lots of coins. Not gold, but coins nonetheless. Yo! Ow! Nope, no curry steel here. 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 No here. No here. What the heck is that? Yeah. That's supposedly a treasure. Yeah. Oh. oh, nice. Uh, I got the steel cleaver. Bam. Dude, I got all, almost all the tools. <laughs> I got a pickaxe, a pick, a uh, cleaver. I got a skinning knife too. Oh, cutty daggers I got. Okay. 
Interesting. Lots of cool stuff to get in this uh, place. Only thing is, crafting them would be a bit annoying if you don't have the materials, Kari steel especially. Eto, Ezio, are you back? The kick is priceless. Yes, it is. Dude, the fact that. Wait, is it because of your mod that the normal kick is actually sending them flying now? Beer man. Or did they change the base game kick itself? I need a sickle. Hatchet is... Well, I don't need the hatchet. Pickaxe kind of does both the work of a pick and an axe, so... I've seen that kick is changed on multiple... Oh. Really? Oh, no, no. Can't kick. Can't kick. And boom! They do get hurt also. As you stay away from here. I ended up agitating an archer. Don't show yourself. Only one of them is agitated. Okay, they're coming back. They, they won't actually hurt anyone. They got tired of uh, being agitated. They go back to normal. Okay, Ezio, I got some tools. You maybe want to search more too. If you can. Or do you want to go to the next spot? Oh, dude. Okay. Uh, one second. What level are you, Ezio? I'm, I'm hoping you're at a level 10 or something. Nine? Uh, crap, I'm only at level 7. Uh, if you were at 10, I wanted you to make like a binding. Oh, here. This is for you. I got you a steel truncheon. Pick it up. You got it? As yo. Okay, cool. Uh, I also got some tridents or something. Wait, why doesn't it arrange everything? Okay, no sorting, boom, sort, no. Type. Ah, type would be better. Uh, name, actually type, I'll keep it as type. That way everything is uh, in their lane. Okay, I got... A sword for myself as well. Do you want a javelin? Uh, offhand this one. This one is what? Offhand javelin. Two of them we have. Do you want a javelin as yo? It's like a one-handed javelin. Pretty good damage. And also you can throw it. But it uses the durability as its ammo, basically. Ready, go now. It's you. Kida re tu? Funcom made it worth it. Yep. I'm having fun with uh, kicking people away. This. Is Murin doesn't sound great, but okay, stay right there. I'll drop it down and boom, did it fall down? Nope, okay, hold on. I'm gonna push it away. There it goes down. Oh crap, Ugh. there, yeah, boy, you got it. It's on the door. There's a bag near the door. Did you miss the d bag? Oh, geez. Right here. 
You, you don't see the bag? Okay. What about now? That's an off hand. I'll give you a main hand as well. You can use like uh, dual spears. Here, pick it up. You can equip one in your off hand, uh, meaning you can put it in your hot bar. But you click on both of them and they'll be equipped in both of your hands. Try it out. Also, I hope you took your truncheon. Ow! Oi! Not on... Okay. Where's your uh, offhand one? Oh, don't throw it! Don't throw it just yet. It uses up its durability, which means you have only maybe 15 to 17 throws, maybe. Use it wisely. They do some decent damage on the throw. From what I remember, at least. I have an offhand weapon as well. Boo. I got an offhand weapon as well, but I can't use it with anything else. Ow. Bam. Bam! 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 If it was PvP, maybe I would have gone flying with that kick. But since he's not... Also, I gave you a trunch and see if you can rank up, dude. Uh, let's see. Come with me. Come with me. Let's rank you up because there's a named guy sitting here. I want to get a named cook already. So what we're gonna do is... You're, you're listening to me? Okay. Uh, where do we go? Where do we go? If I'm not wrong, there should be some hyenas on that side or this side. Ah, crap. How about we actually fight a few enemies in this place itself? Oh, no. He started a fight here. Of all the places. You dummy. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> what did I tell you? Look at this crazy spawning right near me. Dude, you do not fight in a city against neutral people when we do not have armors to actually take a hit. Do one thing. Let's, uh, you, you remember that archer at the top? Come with me. Look at you. Your chest is all messed up. Be right back in a few minutes. Again he goes off. Okay, I might as well rank up then. Um, Yoo-hoo, Miss Archer. I hope you don't mind, but... Bada-bing, uh, bada-boom. You're going down, lady. Okay, gotta level up 8. And also, hello. Got some uh, carry capacity heavy boots. Got a nice bow here, which I'll probably use as well. Thank you. Let's see. Boots. Take you away. And then she got some gloves as well. I'm gonna use those. Yeah. Bam. And a six and a boom. And arrows. Let's see. Do I get this guy's attention once? I'm gonna hit this guy in his face. I hope no one else is coming after. Oh, jeez. That was good. 
Okay, I'm at level 9. Just one more crazy. Wait, who? It's still going on. Oh, someone's chasing after me. Yeah, come on, buddy. Yeah, hope you're not like a named one or something. Yeah, level 1. Come here. Ancient Kopesh. 33 damage. Really bad uh, durability right now. That's definitely better than the uh, Cutlass, I would say. So we go with that. And I didn't reach level 10 because it was a level 1 guy. Meh. Yo, you. You think you can fight me? Oh, crap. You got friends. Huh? Ah. No, no friends. No friends allowed. Okay. Bridge standoff. Uh. Oh, jeez. this 16 that one is 21 okay I reached level 10 where is the blah 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 bam thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you Da, 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 da. Boom, armors, fashionist. Then what else? Uh, uh, okay. Heels. Yeah, sure, why not? Weapons, on the other hand. Why aren't these unlocked already? I thought unlocking the normal ones would have unlocked all the... Hmm. Ooh. These are actually some really cool two-handed swords. Oh, uh, thank you for joining, uh, beer man. Have a good day too. Wait, who was going? Oh, you told G Knight. Okay, shout out to G Knight. I thought Beerman was leaving. Uh, and of course, I kind of missed out on the message. See, th this is where I kind of want to add like some way of getting messages on the screen while I'm playing. Because I miss out on the messages on the other screen. Well, uh, time to drag that person away from here. Bindings, one. Okay, here we go. Time to knock someone out. Without getting anyone else involved. Is you still not back? Nanda, is yo, you're missing out on all the fun. Oh, lone fisherman. Bada bam, bam. Come on. Game one. Game on. Ah. 
so close. And seven and yeah. Well, Ezio seems to be still here. I'm gonna go and get a. Oh, look at this! Got a hammer, steel one. Gonna keep it. If you're wondering where I'm going without Ezio right now, Bob, your live stream missing messages is just part of it. So, what do you think of the new buttons on Xavier's uh, split and stack mod? I kind of like it, but it's doing the same thing as the base game now, I would say. Or at least this is way more, uh, well, if I'm not uh, sorting it or something, this button kind of really helps stack up everything properly without any uh, gaps in between. The split stack size is basically the shift and thing. But here's uh, something that I noticed. Uh, before using the mod, there is an issue where when I kind of use the shift, split the stack of it. For example, stack of arrows, I split it. I put it into another inventory. I can give the items. But when I go into the inventory, split them, and then I try to take it directly. For example, if I have like a bag or something on the floor, I try to split the thing using shift and then uh, press on the option take. It doesn't take it. I have to split it inside the bag. Once it has two uh, stacks of uh, that, then I can pick one of the stack. Rather than directly splitting it when uh, it has this, you know, uh, when it has this split stack thing. I, it doesn't let me with the base game. After adding this, I was able to kind of take it from other places directly. It's way more convenient that way now. And it works pretty good. No issues whatsoever. As usual. Xavier's... Uh, uh, what do you say? Ultra cooked... Uh, blueprint cords. Also, now that I'm here, I need to buy... Excuse me, lady. I'm looking for that by by oh yeah did I not purchase it oh I have to buy here boom got one of it and then this one maybe when we get the chocobo that would be pretty cool but everything else is like 500 ay -yay 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 -yay. Backpack is also 500. Nanda! Schematic. I mean, I could get all the cooking... Specialist cooking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But I have only 880 golds. Okay, I'm not gonna waste it now, because we do need a mount still. Okay, you my friend, come with me. We are gonna... Oh, oh jeez. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Hey, Nani. Food, boom, done. We gotta cook. I gotta repair this. What? Nanda, yo. Oh, what the? 
Ezio, what are you doing? You're crazy. Why'd you get us into this place? Nandara, you big dummy. Let's get out of here. Yeah, can't get out, honey. Did you get the gold? How come you're missing out on the gold? Perfected steel javelin. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Why not? I'll take that. Dude, let's go. I kept the troll for. You know, he's ready. And also, I was near the uh, stables. We could have gotten him out. I don't know why we can't get out of here. And that is, yo, you're getting us into more trouble now. Hiya! I wish I could do a Bruce Lee kick on you right now. He wanted to match Funcom's UI, so I made those for him. These are good! You, the ones before this, uh, it looked like a plus sign and he was getting, <laughs> he kind of did not like that I said it was a plus sign. Turn on admin, uh, nah, it's okay, it's just that a little bit of a delay is there, it kind of loads in some of the options. Same thing with uh, the tavern in this place. Okay, Ezio, come with me. SEO. Come on, man. We gotta go to the stables. I left the crucifix there itself. You should have told me if you're getting into this place. Are you still loading? Okay. Come with me. Uh, nothing there. Lots of hardened bricks I'm getting easily. Which is kind of good. Also, if you see why I'm running slowly. Uh, up, up, up. It's because we just got out of a place by uh, fast traveling, so. Yeah, this is what I set up as you. And because you made me fast travel, we can't see uh, the dwarf. And here he is, our new cook. Lots of good stuff to be had, I would say. Hopefully. Oh yeah, Shima's... So, because this one is the first particular uh, thing we unlocked, the fast travel point so from anywhere on the map to this particular Shima's uh, caravan master it'll be free of charge comprende as you not like a hub it's like fast travel points it is a pretty big map <laughs> yeah you're supposed to interact with the NPC not the uh, saddle so, the NPC has some horses. You can choose which one you want. But check the gold. You don't want to just waste the gold. Willy nilly. So, make sure to choose wisely. I'm kind of thinking I'll go with the travel horse. Travel horse or the pack horse. Both of them have like a decent. Pack horse is like 50 gold. Travel horse is 20. So Misa is going for a travel horse. Also. See which saddle you want. Don't choose a donkey saddle or something. For a horse. Just be careful. <laughs> <laughs> As your giddy up. Scout is actual maneuverability. 
Most of them are maneuverability. I'm gonna go with the uh, immersive armor mod related uh, adventurer saddle. That's why one, that one's got like a nice scarf and all that. I got the travel horsey. Time to put the horsey to work. Now wait a minute. What the heck? Yeah, you have to place it over here. <laughs> I knew it. He took the elk. But did you take the elk saddle? Hopefully. Okay. Have fun. I'm not gonna have too much storage in it. But the saddle looks really cool on it. Oh wait, let me just show how it looks. Yeah, there we go. The saddle is kind of nice. I wanted that saddle for horses. But... Uh, Cybercat did not make it happen for the horses. That particular saddle on a horse would have looked pretty cool. I think. I don't know. I'll ask him again. Maybe uh, he'll add it sometime. But uh, right now, gotta put some saddle on my horsey. Look at my horse, dude. Naming him uh, Forest as usual. Run, Forest! Run, yang, yang, yang. And let's see, tent can be in the horse. And then what else can be in the horse? The cat, the egg, the lone fisherman as well. Right, ho! Uh, let them be here itself. Come with me as yo. Uh, you wanna talk to this guy? See uh, what you think about it. This is the guy you wanna talk to every time you want to get a rumor. A quest of sorts. Hello. Stop admiring your new elk. You'll actually... <laughs> it's gonna be fun to see you ride it. It's pretty... Uh, it's gonna have uh, this weird stiff animation when it, when it rides. This guy right here, Drifter. He has rumors. You can kinda talk to him about it. Also, there is, there is some good stuff here that I kind of kept for you, but the only way to access it, that particular chest within this uh, cage, is if we have a skeleton key. Sadly, we do not have a skeleton key right now, and the dwarf is here, but he's invisible for now. Because Ezio, Mr. Brilliant Ezio, made me teleport into a house... Because we teleport or fast travel too much, the thespians kind of don't load up correctly. He has a rumor called how to make a dragon. How to make a dragon? How to tame a drag? Yo, go back to school, boy. Man, you kind of make me worried that I made spelling mistakes. Nanda! The antler spread on the elk. Oh, you, you, you're gonna see much more. This one's actually pretty cool. Uh, Big Boss. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's actually a nice name. I don't know, Big Boss. Shrine Lantern of the Wyverns. Yeah, yeah. There are wyverns. There are uh, dragons that you can tame. But first, let's get ourselves a base location, shall we, as yo? Then we can always come back here. You do know because we, uh, you know, uh, interacted with this particular fast travel Shima first. We will be able to come here free of cost from any other Shima fast travel points. So to get a rumor, it's always going to be... Yeah, I got some quests with uh, the Monkey King staff. 
uh, wars chaos eater yeah i got some uh, yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a grind that one we'll uh, do when we are actually capable of taking a hit some of them are boss related so see wukong's mystical shackles are what i want to get but it's, uh, it actually involves a crazy giant snake that uh, I never knew was there before. And I don't know if it's going to be bugged this time also. Last time what I did was I was using bow and arrow. So there's a huge lava pool in the middle. I kept going around it and the snake was also going around it while I was hitting it. So easy, right? It's just following the circle and then suddenly it got stuck in one spot and then disappeared. Just when I was about to kill it. Only problem is, if we go fight it, we have to do a close combat battle. And another problem with that is, it's a snake. A giant one at that. Lots of poison strikes. Tell Butcher to make a Wukong boss NPC. Why would the Butcher make the Wukong boss NPC? Butcher, if you are seeing this, Butcher from the stream chat, it's Beer Man, not Butcher. Are you teasing him on purpose? Not Bear Man, Beer Man. I would have a terrible hudge, yeah. <laughs> First he calls you Xavier. Now he's calling you Butcher. Then Bear Man. Now Beer Man. How hard is it to remember the word Beer? It's like Superman, but Beer Man. You know? As your man. <laughs> Okay, so Ezio, uh, we got the horses. Shall we go to our new base location, which you pointed out, which is right here, which is one of the most popular places to make a base, I would say. At least for me or uh, new players. Oh, dude, uh, we got to go get... Uh, do you want to get that uh, knowledge for the glowing torch? Ezio? Yeah? Okay, let's go uh, get that first. Also, uh, be sure to know in these waters on this map, there are underwater geysers that are useful to push you out of the water if you're about to lose your breath. Okay, keep that in mind. It's a tip. In case the waters are too deep, you've already almost lost your breath and you forgot to go up to the surface see if you can always find some uh, geysers nearby to swim to they will immediately push you out the beer man's having fun by the way you being yourself <laughs> shall we go uh do you need anything else as yo i kind of want to use one of the uh this grenades or something that uh yeah the uh high mains arsenal mod has the boogie bomb only problem is i think the song in it is going to have like a copyright thing going on so we will do it later uh throw it on you at some point but we still need 100 uh, gold for it his name is not Butcher, you're crazy. He's just adding to your thing. He's just having fun watching what you are kind of doing right now. You crazy. Let's go. It's like I'm uh, teaching a little kid. Do this, do that. Stop calling people names. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, we gotta go this way. Or actually, no, you wanna go shortcut. Be careful, don't uh, get yourself killed. Can I hit you with my... Oh, huh. Maybe press spacebar or something. 
Oh, uh, I guess not. I don't think so. Uh, but your uh, your mount should be able to attack if you're not sitting on it, you know, the way horses usually attack because of the uh, MCR mod. Mount combat re... Uh, what is it called? Restored. Slowly, wa slowly you want to move. Don't sprint. He is fast. They're, they're pretty good at catching up to horses. They're almost the same speed, but because of the animation on the uh, elk, it seems more faster. You know what I mean? It feels more fast. The horse has a slower running animation. That one has like a piped up crazy choo-choo train. And also it sounds like one too with its uh, nostrils all flared up. Yeah, definitely, beer man, you can join us with uh, you using all the mods I'm using. <laughs> It'll be fun. It will definitely be fun. Bada bang, you really need to get a mic, dude. As yo. Okay, so as yo. That particular quest which has the uh, how to tame a dragon. You will craft a mic in Conan. I yeah, wish. I wish. Forget you. I would wish that you would be able to craft. Uh, need to play more would be a good excuse. Uh-huh. You'll also get to know what all you may want to kind of add to your own mods the more you play. Well, not the simple height tents, but uh, maybe those uh, leftover spots for new combos on your Blades of Chaos. Oh, we got trouble. We got trouble. I got a one-handed sword. Hiya! Yeah! Synchronized kill. Let's go, Ezio. Man, your elk is too loud with its snoring or snorting. Uh, uh, follower HP is low. Yours? No, no, no. I think you got like an upgrade. Uh, just check your... Uh, one second, let me check. Uh, open inventory... Yeah, you got like 5,344 HP. That elk is gonna get some good. What? You got some jerky? You hogging all the good food for yourself? You bought it, didn't you? You wasted, pla you wasted that gold to get that from the vendor. Didn't you? You found it? Uh, lucky. Well, I got all the good steel tools, so... We'll be, I'll be doing the harvesting, I guess. Most of it. I didn't get the sickle, though. I wish I kind of got the sickle. That would have been better. One second. Dude, frame rate's dropping for some reason. I don't know why. Look at that. What the heck? Crafting 10 of the items, it's dropping frame rates? That's weird. Really, really weird. Okay, also you'll uh, be able to see some crocodiles on the left side. For some reason that one didn't even see us. That's weird. I'm definitely... Oh, I was in creative mode. I didn't even know that. Remember when I used the creative mode to kind of get out of that stuck position after being teleported? Nanda. 
I always need to remember not to be in creative mode. That thing makes me immortal. And also makes me cloaked. That's why I was wondering how come they're attacking only you, not me. Ah. Uh, this was you when I was uh, trying to get uh, one of the thralls converted. You went into some house. Yeah, the creative is a bit annoying, I feel like. Especially in these situations. Okay, got it. Oh, Ezio, this is one of the spots I really like. Come up here. This is one of my favorite spots that I always use. For a base. It has a nice uh, sunrise and sunset. And also pretty, pretty wide open as well. And at the top, has a nice ramp to go up as well. Ezio is the lucky charm. For what? For what are you giving yourself credit now? For finding a spot that I already know of? Legendary items? What legendary items did you get? You're getting chased by an ostrich, by the way. Okay, it ran away. What rare items did you get? Day. You, you half make me want to switch on the PvP option, you know? <laughs> Ezio, I can see why Funcom made it that way. The random NPCs can mess up your flow when uh, just chilling and building. Now that's true. That is true. Creative mode for building is great, but for other things when in, you know, regular gameplay, it kind of... I wish they had like a small icon or something switched on as you're careful that's a ledge this is the spot dude really crazy place ow my legs are broken yeah my legs are broken <laughs> it's fine now but yeah uh you get a good view of the whole place also, if you see that island in front of us, uh, we'll be going um, towards that island, but we'll go behind that island and we'll be diving into the water to get the knowledge for the glowing torch. Basically, the dredger feet. Man, these two look like friends standing in a single file. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and he is dancing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you see that uh, pride rock over there? In the direction I'm seeing. Yeah, so in that direction is where the sun rises. And in that direction is where the sun sets. And both have a really cool uh, view. Because it uh, kind of highlights the fog in the area far away from us. The moon is in the center. It's taking time to go down. We got another few more minutes. I think we'll, we can probably watch the sunrise if you want. Yeah. Also, check it out on the map. It's kind of uh, close to the water body. Uh, do you see that one island with a hole... Just uh, diagonally top left of us on the map. That particular island if you want we can make it a base. We can have a harbor and whatnot if you want. And we can use the whole water body here to you know use the ships or rafts or boats or whatever. But it'll be annoying because if you want to keep using the ships every time. It looks like a hippo. Nani. 
what looks like a hippo the island hmm. uh, half submerged hippo yeah maybe to me it just looks like uh, I don't know an island maybe I don't see the hippo Oi, 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 dude. Not near the ledge. I mean, it's not that you're not gonna go anywhere. You'll spawn back to me. <laughs> also, there is a bit of water over here as well on this side. If you want, I can make a diving board or something for that side. It's closer compared to that water body, which is too far away. Or if you want, we can go make a based on pride rock over there uh, yeah. also you see uh, the pride rock pointing to another island on the right side in that direction that island also has like a cave system and also some kind of a cave connecting to the water down below it's also kind of cool there are different places you want to make a base at like really cool places are there where we just have to find by exploring these are some of the ones that I know this is one of the places where I made like an ancient uh, I don't know oh speaking of which very close to uh, sunrise it's already getting brighter uh, do you wanna set up camp here or something or do you wanna take the mounts to that place what do you want to do? I've already been here. Camping is good. Yeah. Also, if you come to this edge, you see a small pond down below. And if you see right side, there's a huge triple skull uh, crocodile. We could try fighting it. But he could be annoying if we get in too close. He might kill our mounts if we take it too close to him. How about we do this? We'll just go get the dredger feet. We'll still kind of explore a bit. And see if we can kind of, you know, find a nice uh, base location. But yeah, let me switch off this. Come on, sunrise. It's uh, uh, it's still not six yet. Okay, I'm going to park this guy here. I uh, forgot to get the... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Eto no. Here. Okay. So... Let me see if I can make a simple hide tent. Dude, could you get me a hide or something? Just take down a deer which we saw back there. I'm at level 10 now. I already reached level 10. I'm, in, I'm at 11 now. Pretty much. What did you want me to make? I already made it. I already got it. Ezio, Nanda. I wanted you to reach level 10 so that you could make the uh, bindings. So that you can drag Mr. Cook. Our new named Cook. Yeah, actually, we'll set up a camp. We'll put him on the campfire to cook something for us. Where is... Okay. I'm just gonna get... Uh, some hide. Ow, my leg keeps breaking every time I land. I need to get some heals. Okay, got the hide. I'm gonna make a... Uh, did you see the sunrise? You missed it, didn't you? 
Or maybe not. Yeah, so basically you get a really good view of this place. Kinda nice. Uh, do you wanna camp here or do you wanna like go get the dredger feet and then kinda still, you know, travel a bit towards the uh, center where you wanted to make a base? That place is also pretty good. What you wanna do? Let's go there. Okay. Let's get the dredger feet then. And then we'll kind of... We'll be coming back to these places to uh, explore and get some of the boss fights completed as well. But we need a base first to start uh, grinding to make a... You know, I immediately want to make that... Uh... Oh, hey, Chiru. Welcome to the stream, dude. I actually immediately want to make the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, onsen? The bath? The bathhouse or something? From the bazaar? Uh, don't worry about the uh, crocodile, just go right through them, dude. Holy crap. Yeah, just uh, park your mount over here itself. Oh, jeez. Okay. Your guy is guarding, right? Okay. Uh, we're gonna be swimming. Do you see uh, those uh, sunken ruins down there? Ezio? You'll also see a cluster of different types of fish also down there. Some eels and whatnot for spear fishing. Speaking of which, escape bro, pal world, meh, pal world is meh. I don't wanna. I tried it, to be honest. Misa did not like it that much. Uh, time it right as yo. You'll also see some uh, geysers down there, right? And if you see some loot boxes, they'll have like uh, things called Dagon scales. You may want to pick up some of it because we will be learning uh, improved fish traps as well. And also, if you get pearls in those uh, loot boxes... <laughs> <laughs> he almost died. <laughs> I told you. See, okay, come here. Just as a practice, come here towards me. See this? Right below us is a geyser. Right, like a vent which will kind of push you up. Where are, where did it go? There's you. Where the heck did Ezio go? Oh. Oi, Ezio! Inga Wada! Here, near me, behind you! You're just going everywhere. You see me? You see me? I'm right on top of you. How do you not see me? Would you stop moving around? Get to the surface. Yeah, do you see me now? 
Okay, now follow me. Right here, do you see? Below me, there's a geyser. Those spike-like rocks. Those spiky rocks. Yeah, so those... Yeah, you get the picture now? Basically, those are what will push you out of the water. But only use it when you lose all your... And you try to stay close to... I'm collecting a few pearls. I'm gonna collect... Uh, uh, actually, first, let's go get that uh, knowledge. We can do all this later. <laughs> it's like Warframe Fortuna plants. Kinda. Also, those dauntless air vents that we get pushed out of. Okay, come towards me if you see me. Okay, yeah, keep coming towards me. I see you swimming, but your legs are kind of just standing. That's weird. Okay, now you're swimming. Okay, stop. Right below us, there's a pedestal. And there's a book on it. Exactly below us. Ready? Go for it. Right over here. Read it. And go up top. We got the treasure feet. Is that easy? No fighting any uh, boss or something like last time in the exile lands. But yeah, now if you can collect glowing goop and any bones, you can make, uh, you know, the uh, glowing torch or the glow torch, basically. Also, Ezio, you remember I gave you a javelin, right? See if you can use that javelin against uh, one of those uh, shoals or schools of fish. Where are you? Yeah, I know. You found uh, one of those uh, crazy fish creatures. That's the uh, entrance to that uh, particular boss I told you. Underwater boss. Yeah, you don't want to mess with that guy. His whole boss area is like slippery and slimy. It's weird to fight him. He's pretty strong too. We need to get like a legendary weapon at least. I gave you a javelin, dude. One-handed spear, the trident. Yeah, so use that. Yeah, see, go underwater, use it. You'll do like a stabbing animation. Yeah, so use that against a school of fish or something. There's a school of fish near the surface up here. You can try it out on this. Near to where we left our mounts. Or whichever you're able to see on your screen. I don't even see where you are. We really need to get those... Oh, there you are. We need to get those glow torches so that we know where uh, each of us is in the water. Kinda... I kinda lose you. There's one here in front of me if you're also able to see the same. <laughs> It's like your uh, legs are just standing in water, your arms are doing the swimming animation. Oh, now it's better. Do you see it in front of me? Oh, there we go. What'd you get? You probably have some unappetizing fish. Got some unwrapped fish. Unwrapped. Either way, that's how you kind of get uh, fishes using a javelin. We can make a spear itself separately also. Uh, Shima's, uh, I mean, Savage Wilds related spears are also there. But yeah, it's a way more faster way to get lots of it. Don't get over encumbered. What are you trying to do? Campfire? 
You're gonna cook the fish, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I thought so. Okay, now that we have that, uh, let's go to your place. Let's uh, set up camp over there for today. Uh, and it's also pretty close to the... Uh, well, the volcano. We'll do the volcano trekking tomorrow. Right now we have to travel uh, quite a bit of a distance. Do what you want to do right now and then let's get on to the uh, mounts and then go. Oh, you're already done. You're not gonna cook it. Yeah, let's go. This is a pretty big map, as yo, and whatever you're seeing now is just the little stuff that I've always been doing on the map. Some places in the north are there which I haven't completely explored, which you will actually be surprised by on finding what there is in the north. There's some crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. Oh, you're bringing in a... Oh, hello, we got a one called Bosch, eh? Yeah, my leg is broken. Oh, jeez. Wait, wait, wait. I need to use the pick pickaxe on this. Yeah, demon blood, bones, hide, more bones, meat, anything else. These one skull bosses do give demon blood. But what I need right now is some wines. See these banana trees or something as yo, they give wines. If you use the uh, hatchet or sickle, especially sickle will... I don't know if they changed it. I have to check it out. But these wines, you usually give it to your uh, mount. Kind of helps with their uh, HP. I wonder if it's different for Mr. Elk. Eh, hey, no. Oh. For elk, it is different, huh? No, it's the same for the elk also. Wines would be great. Those banana trees that have, like, uh, wines on it. The short ones. Oh, one second. Let me just get some coal. Later for the campfire... Also, uh, getting resources are pretty easy on this map, I would say. I mean, we just have to go to some places that have all the stuff. We can get a lot of gold ore. We can get a lot of obsidian. We can get a whole lot of uh, star metal also in the north. We can get a lot of crystals too in one of the caves. And we'll be going to that cave too at one point. But right now, we are headed to that location you wanted us to go to. Let's go. Let's go. Man, your elk is crazy when it starts running. We're just gonna be following this uh, stream of uh, water here. It'll lead us straight to a uh, mining site, which supposedly has like some scorpions and a queen scorpion. Just so you know, that's the one that will kind of help us with the uh, shackles, that quest which you saw before. It's one of my favorite weapons. I just named it so it's not actually named that. It has its own different name. 
Yeah, we'll make a northern base. We do have the northern timber mod as well. Oh, hey, Sri Guru. Long time, dude. Really long time. Welcome to the stream. Sorry for the late reply. Uh, fish fry also, yes. Remember to like and subscribe. Thank you. I think uh, Chiro and Sri Guru are kind of soft. In. Sri Guru, it's been a long time, dude. Way too long. Whoa. Oi! Stop! Why you try to push me into the wall? You crazy! Every time. Anda, wait until beer man or dragon gets into the game. We'll kinda gang up on you. Or actually beer man might kinda side up on your... <laughs> team. I don't know. Let's see. Let's go, Ezio. Let's see if you can catch up. I'm sprinting. I don't see. It's almost the same speed. But your sprint animations are faster. It feels fast. But it's almost about the same speed ish. Tap, tap, tap. I take no sides, I bug whom I please, says beer man. <laughs> oh, that would be a great choice, I would say. Always balanced amount of annoyance is good. Between friends and the teammates and the barbarians on the Savage Wilds. Just make sure to keep the weapons away from each other, that's all. So that's the cave or mining area, dude, on your right side. We won't be going there right now. Uh, we'll be going around it. Because we have to go to that uh, location you said. There's also a nice cave over here if you want to check it out. Uh, up ahead, I had made a base over here before. I think you might recognize it. But look at this small piece of land here, dude. Just a small piece of land. And uh, what happened? Okay, uh, let me just uh, see which would be the best way to go to that island. We could go all the way around without having to kind of go in between. Yeah, we'll do that. Take a left turn, as you come back here. We'll go through this place. You will offer him beer. Oh, beer man, he's offering you beer. This guy knows you already. <laughs> he knows how to get you on his team. Yeah, but you don't know how to craft beer in this game, as yo. Where did you go? Oh, there you are. Straight ahead, as yo, we you can see a cave. There are some mountain lions on the right side. Also, make sure to uh, not sprint here. Take your time. Move slowly. Most of the map is kind of starting to load in now because we kind of stayed towards the south. Some of it will kind of pop up suddenly, so... Take your time. Move slowly. But yeah, see here, this is the cave. You didn't even see the cave, did you? It's a nice bit of a open cave we could probably make like two floors ground and first easy but uh, this one i usually think of it as a sorcerer's cave speaking of which we didn't get the sorcerer's uh, knowledge it's all the way on the bottom right side of the map in the dark green area the swamp area We'll be going there probably later on. 
But first, let's go claim our base. This base is your choice, so we're gonna make it... Uh, jump down here. Uh, we do wanna get to that side. <laughs> also be careful. We do have crazy leopards. I mean, mountain lions in this area. I'm gonna take care of one of them. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. Hey, your antlers with the... That thing is actually cool when it... It looks cool when it attacks. Your elk. The elk king. I remember coming here with uh, you on our wyverns. Here? This is the first time you're playing Savage Wilds. What are you talking about? Isn't it? Elk to the... Oh, on a similar island? Uh, probably Isle of Sipta, dude. Isle of Sipta, you mean. This is the first time you're playing this whole map. I think I've been here with uh, Dragon once. I think. I've also been here with Liquid Fire once. He got into trouble because I took him towards some... Uh, <laughs> greater bears and then he got stuck on a rock because they wouldn't let him go I don't know why they kept going after him there it is Ezio straight ahead that's the island you see that huge rock that's the place we're going to that's the one you chose it has this nice ramp to go inside and up to the top we may have to make some level platforms or foundations to have like a nice level floor, if you know what I mean, rather than a slopey area. Or we could just uh, wing it and then probably place some uh, Nordheimer hut decorations or something. Ezio? Nani? What the happened to this? Uh? Why did you just uh, stay there? Uh, stay towards the water itself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Giddy up, little donkey. But yeah, here we are. We got lots of aloe, lots of iron nearby. And there are some camps also here and there. Nordheimers, we can get easy. Uh, not easy, but yeah, we'll, we'll get a decent amount of uh, workstation thralls for sure. Wargrime also is kind of close by, but yeah, Ezio. If you come to this spot over here. Yeah, up the ramp. And come straight, don't go left. Oh no! I crashed! My game crashed! I was wondering when it was about to happen. Uh oh. Oh no, 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 no. Don't tell me. My screen froze on top of this. I have so many windows open right now. Gah. Okay, just give me a second. I'm gonna do something crazy here. Uh, it might look like I, the stream stopped, but it may not stop. Here we go. 
Cancel. No. Okay, the stream is still going, I think. Let me know if the stream is still going. I hope the stream is still going. Nah, I find I found a new way of uh, not really restarting. But uh, what happens is it thinks it's about to restart. I'm just getting back. Uh, okay, Ezio is also able to hear me now. Uh, just give me a second, I'm going to restart the game. I didn't have to restart the whole PC at least. Uh, this was one stupid issue that happens when I'm using OBS, Discord and Steam all together. And I'm streaming. I don't know why they have a problem with each other. On my PC at least. Yeah, just give me a second. I'm uh, restarting the game. Only thing is my RGB keyboard is uh, switched off now. So I'll be using the default uh, key settings itself. <laughs> what I did was I uh, clicked on restart the PC and then immediately cancelled it. So the PC thought I'm restarting and it actually uh, fixed the screen that was frozen, not letting me go to the desktop. That got fixed. But I have to kind of get into the game again now, get into Discord again. I think Ezio is able to hear me. Just give me a second, Ezio, I'll invite you. See, this is why SKV needs my luck. Shut up, dude. You're the one who's always taking my luck. It's like you take away my luck. That's why I need it back. This time he didn't take... M That's because you already emptied my luck by staying in the game. That's why I got kicked out. Nanda is your... Uruse. Okay, I'm just restarting. Give me a second, dude. Or a minute. Or maybe... Two. One second is up. Uh, you didn't invite me yet. Yeah, relax. If you are so lucky, why don't you just join in without my invite? Nanda. <laughs> now we just got to that base. Maybe that base is a bad sign. As soon as we got to that base location, we got kicked out. First, and it was Ezio's choice. Took your family and your riches. <laughs> then yeah, just give me a sec. And your pride. I'm restarting. Finally, they left you to die. He needs Ezio for every exile? frame. You were not in frame. Left and he crashed. No, I didn't. I didn't crash because he was not in frame. <laughs> Yo, I wanted to ask if... Uh, actually, I'll ask a bit later after this cutscene. Way too loud cutscene. I'm not able to hear my own voice. Yo, beer man, how do you like the standby screen? <laughs> what will you do, exile, when there's nothing left to do? But wait for the cutscene to end. T3. No, those are T5s. I, oh yeah, the old uh, T5s. Not the new ones. The This screenshot I took uh, 
probably way before like chapter 4 even started maybe that time during the age of sorcery or probably during that uh, age of the Kitan warriors that showed up with those carts I think uh, here's the problem with the uh, Conan Exiles and Savage Wilds map. I have to now, because I have all sorts of quests and all set up, there is a bit of a weird wonky situation for me on my PC. Where I have to go into Exile Lands first or any other map first before I go to uh, the Savage Wilds. Which kind of sucks. But I have to do it if I don't want to get a fatal error pop-up that will not let me join Savage Wells. So first to another map and then to Savage Wells so that I can at least be able to play. Time Capsule. Mm -hmm. Bang, 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 bang. Uh, just give me a second, I'll uh, kind of get rid of the standby screen in a bit. I'm just loading into Exile Lands first. You'll probably hear Beerman's uh, music barrel as soon as I load in. I didn't get the uh, add-on version 2 of the music. I don't know if it's gonna be like a copyright issue or something, even though it's another YouTuber creator or someone. I'm not sure if it's gonna be a copyright issue for this game at least. So I thought maybe in using the base game, whatever music barrel he's given, I'll use that itself. For now. Also, it's not like I'm getting paid or anything from YouTube to actually be okay with uh, playing other copyrighted music. They'll get paid if I play it. But I'll get a strike, I don't want that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm in Exile Lands now. Going back to the main menu. And then... Co-op. Savage Wilds map. The things I do for a co-op gameplay. Now we have to see how long it takes to get Ezio back into the game. Hopefully not too long. I really, really hope. Uh, yeah, one second, I'll uh, get rid of the please standby screen. I'm just uh, loading into the Savage Wells map. Oh, this music doesn't get any older. No matter how many times I've heard this now, I've gotten so used to it that I don't really get annoyed by it. You know what I mean? Usually you kind of get annoyed by some music that you keep hearing over and over and over. Right? 
Uh, okay, let's see. Sending SEO and invites, or actually, first let me get this back on the screen. There we go. I think that should be back on the screen now. And SEO friend list and invite. What time is it for you anyway, dear man? It's already like 3 a.m. or something for you? Or is it 4? Uh, I uh, sent you an invite as you. Quite a few of them, in fact. You probably went to sleep somewhere here. Oh, you are pretty far away from me. Where is he sleeping? I better get to him. I want to see if my run up and jump into the water would actually be a good idea or not. Maybe over here. Oh boy. I'm taking a huge risk. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, okay. That was a bit stupid, but okay. That probably would have ended up at the start of the map. Ezio's elk is over here. One second, Ezio. Uh, just getting your elk also with me. Big boss, it seems. Man, the toggle sprint doesn't work for the player. Uh, stream, I can't type. What? But I'm kind of drunk. So perfect time to catch a... Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, Ezio seems to have gotten up. Ezio got your... Horse, I mean, elk. Now to wait and see. Yeah, there we go. As you're moving around. I got a... My horse is going to start moving away from me. Oi, 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 come back here. Stupid horse started running away from me. Well, there it is, as yo. The future base. Or... The future something of a base current location of our base the future castle in that location maybe castle nah oh do, uh, we thought we'll do that samurai style right since we got the uh, onzen maybe we'll make a yamatai style building or whatever Also, type in the local chat itself, but uh, I'm not able to see anywhere. Oh, there we go. I can see you now. Uh, but yeah, straight ahead, you see that waterfall on the... Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, jump up, jump up. Yeah. This guy. He just ran off the ledge just now. Almost. <laughs> Yeah, with that thing. So, anyways, that uh, volcano you see right there, that mountain. The waterfall side is where we'll be climbing up. And you'll see that small uh, hole or cave where the waterfall is actually falling from. That's where we are going to go in. And it's going to teleport us into the top of the mountain. Cliff jumper. 
Yeah, but this one was a nice cliffhanger. He hung on to the ledge pretty well. He almost went off. See, this is why we need a chocobo mount. So basically, as you we have some flat pieces of land over here. Okay. That we could use as a nice workstation area. Like, completely flat piece of land here. And down there, towards the ramp or something, we can put like... Uh, stables and a huge animal pen. That'll be towards the entrance itself. And if we go below the ramp, we can actually add a huge gate. What do you think? Do we have to give land tax? I don't think so, buddy. Once we start making a place here, it's ours. And besides, we are the only two here. Other than the NPCs, of course. Or if you want, we can have like a really, really... Elaborate looking... Uh, village type of a place up here. We just have to make like flat uh, foundation... Uh, placed over here. Like lots of foundations to make it a bit more flat. Lots of stairways though. Sounds cool. Okie doke. We shall start off soon enough. Probably best to keep the boys over here in the center. Also, you see that small camp over there on the other side? So, they have some Nordheimer fighters, a dancer, and also random, I don't know, probably cook or someone is there. But that's not where we want to go. We want to go a bit towards your right to Wargrime. If you press map, and zoom in, you'll see those uh, Nordheimer huts. Those brown looking huts. On the map. So that's where we are kind of headed. We are also headed towards one of the fisherman hut right now. We need to get a uh, fish trap. And he doesn't listen. Well, nice dive though. How are you going to come back up? You have to go all the way around now. I haven't even made an elevator yet. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> At least he didn't go straight forward and then do a dive. He did it to the side, into the water. I mean, you still would have made it, I think. But yeah, uh, you should have taken your elk with you. Because we have uh, quite a bit of a far way to go. Also, go to your uh, knowledge, Ezio. Could you unlock your... <laughs> yeah, Ezio is gonna actually keep us on edge. I think. From whatever he does. He at least keeps me on edge because he's probably getting me most of the time into trouble. Or all the time. I'm just unlocking a few things. Ladder. Yeah, ladder. Chair. I didn't get to unlock. Okay. Uh, what did I want to tell you? Yeah, go to tools. See if you can unlock uh, fish trap. Oh, fish trap is at level 17. What level are you, Ezio, right now? I can't see your message. You're too far away from me. Type in global. See if that message works. I'm checking where I can hide the chaos maker structure from you. Chaos maker structure? What are you talking about? You mean blades of chaos? The altar, the hand looking structure. Yeah. Okay, I'm confused as your what, what hand looking structure? 
Also, you're far away from the local message. Remember, I can't see the message. Yeah, try messaging now. You're pretty close, I think. I still can't see it. Are you really still far away? Wow, this local thing and global thing. This is the problem with not having the clan message show up. I don't know what's wrong with this chat. I can't even bring up the clan messages. Uh, let me try. What is this? Okay, local message is showing separately. I can put it back. How do I get the clan messages up here? Channel list. No channel list at all. Should I make like a private channel or something? Give me a second. Maybe that would help Pepe settings. Create a channel. Uh, yeah. Private. Create. Not even private. Uh, alt. Alt channel. I'll just name it as. And then the alt. Yeah, okay. Seems good. Normal. Admin. Conditions for players to be able to join the channel. Yeah, okay. Uh, what was this? Member list? Uh, let me see. Why is it not showing up on the thing? Uh, add. Channel list alt. Oh, now the clan channel shows up, you dumb, stupid. Okay, type in the clan channel uh, chat itself, dude. Stop burping, you crazy. Yeah, there we go. Finally. There is an alt channel also, which don't have to use it. But that one will kind of help me get the clan channel to up here, I guess. I guess we found a new way. Okay, get your uh, mount. We're going to go get uh, ourselves... I kind of need to reach level 17. What about you? Bat gliders? Yeah, well... If we were still in the south, we could have gone to... the Atoll region and actually gotten a few abilities... from a Jedi. Remake the clan and see if that helps. No, actually that doesn't work. I've tried it before. It's because I restarted the game. The very first load into the game is actually pretty good. But if I restart into another map and then come back again, the clan chat becomes invisible. Also, gliders, I think we can unlock it. Yeah, just unlock it, dude. If you have the points, unlock the gliders. Don't waste into too many things. Also, as you make sure you've unlocked your tools. Like, uh, have you unlocked the apprentice butcher? The skinning knife looking tool. Then your blacksmith or the furnace looking icon. Then the carpenter's bench icon. The iron tools. Tanner. Fireball Cauldron, Journeyman Butcher, the Iron Tools again. You told me I can get double jump ability. Yeah. Where is that from again? Agility. You have to max out agility. You're gonna max out agility? You can use like a double jump and then do a dive also. If you can time it correctly. I've seen it. Even I'm thinking I'll go into agility. But uh, what are the weapon types we are using? That will be messed up. If we go completely for agility. Agility is uh, middle uh, whatever. If you get uh, 10 points into the agility. You get like a choice between dead shot and precision strike. Then if you get another 10 points into agility. 
you'll get like a option between extended leap which is a double jump and then rolling thrust which literally kind of does not uh, use any stamina on your next attack after a roll but anyways actually i'm gonna dive from here and did a 360 or uh, something to get some other weapon I do like the spear and all but uh, is yo you're going the uh, oh you're going around the place okay I'll wait for you we're just gonna go get uh the uh, fish trap. Wait, you're at level 12? Huh. Oh, I guess I'll get the fish trap then. I'll place it. You can make use of it. Improved fish traps are... Oh, did you pick up any Dagon scales by any chance? When you were down there? No? Crap. Okay, uh, we may have to go back there. Let's see, how far is it again? Or actually, you know what? Let's go get that first, the knowledge. Then we'll see if there's any uh, loot chest down here itself. In the water. In this water, there are some crazy things that you'll see, dude. Some ruins are there, which are pretty deep underwater. Uh-oh. On the... Ow. <gasps> And he went to that place. Yeah, go ahead. Go, go, go. I dare you, Ezio, to go on to that island and go to the tip of that island. I dare you. Why are you coming here? Go, go back to that island. With the dogs. You know why I said you have to go to the tip of that island? You see there? Straight ahead where my horse is pointing. Do you see it? Yeah, what do you think that is? <laughs> it's a rot branch. There's a rot branch boss right there. Crazy. Earth bending crazy. Forest bending. Okay, I need to fight some wolves. Oh, there we go. Yo ho, wolfie. I need to level up. Come here. That hurt. Oh, I'm gonna get killed. I uh, need to be careful. Oh, that was a good amount of XP I got. Okay. Where is another one when you need it? There you are. Getting down this time. I'm not taking any chances. Yep, got the level 17. Knowledge, tools, fish trap, fishing record. I already have that, but yeah. Got it. Got the grinder also unlocked. Should be good. Oh, man. I don't have points available. I need some more points. 
also we already know where our base is gonna be but uh, right now we're gonna camp in front of uh, Nordheimer camp we'll try to probably get some hopefully named trolls if possible the camp up there uh, where do I in that direction where is he yeah nani where'd he go I can take him down. You should stay behind me. I saw your message late. As usual. <laughs> it's strange not seeing the red orb effects when killing stuff. I really need to uh, move on to different mods. What do you mean you can't see? Red orb effects when killing stuff. It only works if I have the chain blades with me. We haven't made the chain blades. So we don't see those red orbs pop up. Uh, as he was running into a cave. He, he just, he's going in. I gotta go after him. <laughs> <laughs> and he runs out. Dude, it's easy, dude. These are easy. These are easy to take down. But, uh, do you. Okay, he's going in. I'm following him. Whoa, whoa. What is this? Why is it so. S Yo, what the? I've never seen that. That looks so cool. The smoke effect or fog effect. That is cool. Kind of blurs your image a bit. That is interesting. Huh. Nice. Also, as you keep an eye on any uh, loot boxes or something, you can find even small boxes. They might have Kari. Also on this map you get a lot of uh, small wooden boxes and they give you like uh, fragments of power. Okay got some hardened steel, corruption, I'm just picking up some resources. What did that guy just walk right through it? If you are hearing all sorts of sounds, it's those Nordheimers on the top floor. They are in the camp. We, on the other hand, be careful, there's a boss here. Yep, there's a boss. <laughs> Whoa, jeez, I almost died. I got caught up in that hit. You can harvest him if you want. He gives a pan or some kind of a pot or something. Got gold. Did you get anything good from him? Uh, I'll just get some crystals. I'm not getting crystals at all. What the? Oh, picking up is giving me crystal. What? What? A pick is not giving me crystals? You gotta be kidding me, dude. Wait, what? Then we can't get a lot of crystals at all. This sucks. This is stupid of a change. Uh, oh, what did I just eat? I got poison. Man, this sucks. Yeah, he gives feral flesh. Also, I'm uh. Actually, do you have glowing goop by any chance, Ezio? 
Did you pick up any glowing goop? No? Thanks a lot, Ezio. <laughs> Ah, oh, crap, I can't see anything underwater. And the smoky blurring effect is kind of pretty awesome. But it's a bit annoying now, even after clearing out to the place. Uh, there is something underwater. I think I know there is something. But with this torch, I can't. Uh, let me see if I can find any glowing goop outside. Just give me a second, Ezio. Oh, I get it. It's actually nighttime. No wonder. No wonder. Oh my god, it's so much more clearer. Outside. Where's the glowing goop when you need one? Oh, it got darker. Crap. Yeah, also I can't breathe underwater. <laughs> I forgot. I keep forgetting I don't have the ring of Nen Nenya yet. Funcom messed with the gathering certain resources. I don't know. Crystals was one of them. Yeah, it, supposedly the pick is supposed to work on the stone type or ore type of materials only. You can't use it on anything else. But it works on the trees. I don't know what they're thinking. It's like they think changing here and there is going to kind of balance it out somehow, but I don't know what they were thinking with that bit of a change for the tools. Because obviously we need a pick both for the tree and for the stone resources. A hatchet is also required for a tree. A pickaxe is also required on a tree. It doesn't make sense. I don't know. It it's confuses me what they were trying to make. Or probably one person in the developers wanted it to be this way or something and then they just made it happen and then we have to go through it as well. Basically. Ooh, this guy dropped a hardened steel hammer. That's gonna do some damage now, yay yay. Also, I thought I had a hammer already, didn't I? Yep. Well, 37, 41. 41 is always better. Steel javelin. Okay, Ezio. If you could get out of the cave, take a left turn. Do oh no, he's going into the camp. I'm waiting for you if you can see me on the map. Or actually, yeah, since you're not at level 17, never mind. I'll get the uh, where is it? Fisher, deep sea fisher, got it. And got a few exotic, uh, yeah, chucky. Okay, I'm coming back towards you right now. Don't, don't keep going away, dude. Come back. We have to make a camp, remember? We'll make the base later. We gotta make a camp right now. We need some thralls. Uh, see if we can uh, get like... Yeah, stay right there. Stay right... Oh yeah, take a right turn down. Right turn, right turn, right turn, right turn, right turn. Do you see the light? A torch. 
I don't see him. Ezio, do you not see me on the map? Hello? Earth to Ezio? Nandayo? You got killed, didn't you? <laughs> Ezio, where are you, buddy? He's lost. You're here? Yeah. You come towards me is what I'm saying. I'm setting up a camp here. Simple high tent. I've put up a Tiki torch and a tent. Where is Big Boss? Oh no, did you get him killed? You got him killed. I don't see Big Boss on the map. Uh, go to inventory and then on the top you'll see followers. You got him killed! I can see him right here! <laughs> he was fighting with you and got killed? What do you mean he was fighting with you? As in... You were fighting a wolf, if I'm not wrong? <laughs> yeah, well, what did I tell you? He went to the Nordheimer camp without me. Now look what happened. <laughs> okay, just give me a second. I'm gonna try and see. Do you at least pick up your uh, saddle? Okay then. Uh, I'm gonna see if we can get some food out of this guy at least. Yeah, we're getting exquisite meat, exotic flesh, lots of it. Thank you, Mr. Mount. I don't think we got a carcass that we can bury. Well, there we have it, our first casualty in the team. Big Boss. Uh, follow me as you. Yeah. I wish this was Ark where you can knock out your friends and drag them. You know? That's the Savage Wilds. Today he's your friend. Tomorrow he's nutrition. <laughs> if you, If you don't get any other source of nutrition F in chat RIP in chat do not F <laughs> as you're still standing there it's a Nanda as yo you're standing where the wolf is gonna respawn again well at least by the time he comes back I'll set up the uh, usual way of me getting things done which is let's see after the here and the horse uh... 
Wait, is it just me or... Where is my... Uh, campfire. Yeah, there it is. It's part of the artisan work table. Oh, man. I thought I could make use of that here. Why is it in the artisan's workbench? It's a cooking item. It's, it's like a cooking bench. Why would... Uh, oh, my God. It's not like a decoration item either. Man, Funcom, what is with your crazy changes, dude? It's like a love-hate relationship with Funcom and their crazy changes. Nanda! I have to go here and find... Find what? Oh, the bait is here. I have to, uh, are you kidding me? Stone and wood, I have to put in a work, to, a stupid artisan table to make a, oh my god, you gotta be, uh, it's so stupid dude, why can't it be in the construction hammer? The construction hammer was made for it. This is really annoying. Let me put some of that there. And let's get some uh, food for Ezio. Nice uh, exotic flesh roasted haunch for you, Ezio. It's getting done. And Ezio, you can put down a bed. Do you have a bed? Do you want one? Yeah, you can make either the normal bedroll with the plant fiber or with the hide. The hide bedroll. I'm just gonna set up the uh, crucifix up here. This is what I usually do. I place a crucifix up here. And then let's place a torch over here. And give the gruel over here and then we get ready for some capture capture time also put down a bedroll dude as you if you can put it down in the TP Reviving Big Boss. What do you mean reviving? He's not coming back unless you spend another bit of gold coin back in Muren. Which we will in a bit. But first you put down a bedroll. We'll try to get some... Uh, I've already put down one bedroll in the TP. Are you over encumbered? If you want, you can dump some items in the artisan bench uh, as storage for now. Get your truncheon out. I'll try to lure out... Uh, or at least I'll try to see uh, if there is a named one. Also, did you put your bedroll down? I'm pretty sure... You oh, there you put it. Okay. Okay, you can eat some haunch if you want a little bit. I just grabbed a bite. Okay, I'm going in. Uh, we're not gonna go straight to this part over here. I'm gonna take a right turn because uh, there are some carpenters and alchemists on this side. You have your truncheon with you? Or not? Yeah, actually keep the sword with you. Uh, because I wanna let you know who's the one we need, who's the one we don't need. Okay, take out this guy. He's a level 3. You will never return to your dad. Ow, oh. Level 3. 
Level one hit so hard. Yeah, boy. Holy crap. This guy hits hard. Potions, 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 potions. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, I'll pick up the supply materials. See if you can get some better weapons or something. This guy has a hardened steel sword. I'll take it. I need... Uh, I need the hardened steel single-handed sword because I need to keep the torch up. Also, let me get my... Ba -ba -ba crunch into this location okay let's go I hope you have your potions as you make some if you want I'm taking the black ice longsword. <laughs> oh, dude, if you want, you can wear those armors. They're better. The uh, Vanir ones. Just check the armor values compared to what you have. You can wear those. Speaking of which, maybe these guys have some... If I could find their bodies. Ah, oh, there they are. Oh, they're... Oh, this guy has, like, uh, shields. Nah. You're not wearing it? Oh. <laughs> he has a frock on. Nanda. The more defensive frock. Okay, usually it's near that campfire where one guy is sitting. That's where a random uh, name troll shows up all the time. Yeah, that's an entertainer. Ah, no need of these guys. Time to take him out. Oh, ho, ho, big swing right there, buddy. Nice, I got some potions. Hardened steel, great sword. Do you want a hardened? Holy crap! This guy's bringing in. You got killed, didn't you? You as yo every time, <laughs> every t every time. He got killed. And uh, as yo. Okay, as you from there itself, uh, let's just reset all of them. Or actually, I want to check if there's a blacksmith here. Uh, you want potions? I got like some really good potions from one of them. Those nice glowing ones, if you want. Where are you? F for food. Here, I'm gonna drop it, pick it up. I got only two of it, so use wisely. Use up the weak ones first. That one, you use it as an emergency. Those are really good potions. I'm gonna go towards the left side. Because uh, I know one spot up here. I'm kind of climbing up to this spot. Usually, there's a named blacksmith here somewhere. Or a smelter, even. Wait, what the? Uh-oh. I think I, uh... 
careful, they have hardened steel weapons. You want to avoid every hit. Holy crap. Oh, that's a level 3 blacksmith. Run away, run away. I want to, I want to get that guy. Oh, crap. Two of them are after me now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, they're after you now. Take out that smelter level 1. I'll take this guy. I'll take this guy. Take out that guy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, Mr. Smelter. I see you. Bye-bye. Whoa, where did that guy come from? <laughs> okay, this is getting interesting now. Oh gee, how did he... Okay, I got the level 3 blacksmith. I'm uh... I'm really in trouble. Okay, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I might have attracted some crazy. Stay away from me as yo. And they went back, okay. Uh, that's fine. Who's this guy? Is that smelter guy? I got him. Got him, got him. Okay, we got a level 3. And you're getting chased by everyone, aren't you? <laughs> uh, I'm kind of scared to come near you right now. Because I don't know how many of them are on you. Basically, everyone's just chasing you. Oh, jeez. What the heck? Oh, crap. Now they're chasing me. Ha uh ha. -huh. These stupid NPCs don't even know how to cross a fence. Uh oh. Yeah. No, I didn't mean to. Leave me alone. I said I didn't mean to. Go after Ezio. He's the one who started all this. He's not even in sight anymore. Look at this guy. He's gone across the bridge somewhere far away from me. Oh, yes, yo. You crazy. Did you just attract everyone out of the camp or something? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, crap. That hurt. That hurt. Frigid. Uh, that frigid bite. Oh, thank you. I'll take that. Actually, I'm gonna see if I can get full armor set. Boom. And switch it up with the armors. This one's 40, this one's 26. Nope. Yeah, boy. Now, Ezio is going to start fighting me. Nanda is yo, where are you? Look at your outfit. Look at my outfit. Okay, I'm on my way. Stay there. Stay there. What are you doing? You're on the bridge. Look at 
Look at my outfit, boy. Oh, gee, what the heck? You have archers uh, after you too? Yeah, crazy. You know, there used to be like a loot crate floating here in the water. It seems they fixed it. Used to be the best place to get hardened, uh, hardened leather. Nice outfit, by the way. You look like... Uh, I don't know what. If we exchange the uh, outfits, the chess piece, you might look like He-Man. Wanna try? Here. Hello. Pick it up. Pass me your chess piece, please. Not the saddle, crazy. Why are you dropping the saddle off? <laughs> yeah, where that? No, this is the one I gave you. Is your Nanda Go mental? Go mental? Oh, look at this. See? You look like He-Man with the cross. Dude! He looks like He-Man! What? Where's your greatsword? Oh, I got a greatsword for you. Here. Hardened steel greatsword. Bam. Take it. It's in the bag. Oh, I'll take the earrings. Thank you. For my character. 158... Yeah, earrings for me character. Yeah, there we go. Dude, it's in the bag, the greatsword that I put. You want to pick it up? Man, you look like... Uh, well, you should have had blonde hair or something. Then maybe... He-Man. Man, this is nice. <laughs> Outfit change. Okay, let's go. We got a level 3 guy. I wanna see who the heck is up there. Someone's shooting arrows, dude. I don't know from where. Oh, I see him. Sparta kick him off the place. Oh, crap. You and you. Ezio, man, every time. Why do you bring such a huge mob with you? It's not like you go the other way. You always come towards me, though. Now this other He-Man is after me. Bye-bye. I kicked him off. Did he get hurt? Oh, yeah. He gets damaged a little bit. Oh, that guy got severely... Oh, jeez, what the heck? Oh, no, 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 no! Crap, I got hurt. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Is that you? Oh, no, that's not you. Where do you think you're going now? You sneaky. Ran away. Dude, I got a nice few kicks, Spartan kicks. I'm checking if you can handle them, that's why. I can handle them, dude. You can relax, I can handle them. Just that I need a few potions in my inventory first. <laughs> and then I can handle them. You just watch how I handle them now. Come here, boys. Right over here. Crap, I missed him. Oh. 
One down. Did you get killed? Oh, jeez. Okay, this guy is a bit crazy. That is... Wait a minute. What is this? Look at him. You want a piece of me, buddy? Let's go. You want to kill my friend? Who thinks he's all that? <laughs> <laughs> you should have taken out the archer first because that guy is the one who cripples you a lot where is he anyway I hear him somewhere Stop stalking like a Zamoran thief. yeah come on I want that uh, hardened steel spear buddy you and me Yeah, how'd you like that? Yeah. Come on. You think you have reach? I got lunge. Forget reach. Yo, I got a new armor set. Boy, full set. This guy gave me a good little heavy armor. Oh, yeah. Misa got some heavy armor. Dumping all the other things away. Where is that? Uh, is this the rigid ice long sword? 42. This is 33. We go with you. And then steel spear can go bye bye. We'll get the hardened steel spear. Mm. This can go bye bye. Perfected steel javelin. You know what? I'm gonna throw things at them right now. Yeah, who's the who's the crazy guy who was throwing? Was it you? Yeah, come on. What? Come on, boy. Yeah, how'd you like that in your face? Oh, I'm missing all the shots. Oh, what the heck? There we go. Ah, you know what? This thing is stupid. The aim is off. Oh my god. God, those hardened steel arrows. Nana, where are you? You're crazy. Come back and help me here. You're still hiding behind some huge rock or cliff. I got one down. Oh, jeez. That's a few of them. Man, you look like uh, Grandpa He-Man. <laughs> I'm gonna use the frigid weapon. Oh. 
Whoa. Did you get killed again? What the? Oh, the finisher. Finally. I think now I know what was going on with the finishers. It's not doing the... Wow, you got killed everywhere, dude. <laughs> Ezio's getting killed everywhere. And he's telling me he's checking if I can handle things, Nanda. Yeah, you're leveled up? What's your level now? I'm at level 20 right now. Also, I forgot what we were doing. Oh, yeah. Trolls. We're just killing them. We need some trolls. Oh, I got a treasure chest. Oh, crap. Who saw me? Okay. Actually, no more. Jeez, that one I haven't seen. Nice, dude. Uh, I've got some nice uh, heavy armors if you want. One of them has dropped a lot of heavy armors. Good durability. If you want it, if you want it, armor repair. I don't see any weapon repair kits that I... Actually, maybe do I have any? I don't have any weapon repair kits, do I? Could stay up longer, but I'm in a bit of... Uh, okay, didn't plan on uh, stream tonight. Uh, you you can go sleep, dude. Beer man, I think he probably already went to sleep. <laughs> Gotta go to bed. I, I'm missing out on the messages. Thank you, beer man. Shout out to beer man and uh, Chiru and uh, G Knight for joining us on the stream chat. As yo, where are you? I uh, see you there. If you want, you can kind of check out uh, some here. This guy has the same armor, heavy armor I have. Full set. If you wanna pick it up, this one right here. Can you see it? Be right back. Okay. Hello, perfected hardened steel. One-handed axe, do I take it? Or do I not? Maybe I do. Ah, that's a lot of them. Welcome back. I'm just uh, taking care of a few crazies here. We're not getting those name trolls. We're just... Uh... Also, to be able to reset them, as yo, we gotta go uh, where you kill that wolf. 
and you got your mount killed we have to go till there and then it'll reset all of them in the map uh, in the camp if you are encumbered you can dump some of the things like uh, older armors the previous armors get rid of it and let's go <laughs> Not bad, this is probably the first time I'm just switching it up with all the weapons and armors with the NPCs itself. As yo. What you up to buddy? Still trying to balance things out in the inventory. I'm gonna reset them right now. They might spawn in your location. All of them. So be careful. I don't know how it works on co-op. On single player it's always... I run up till here. I take a U-turn. And then they would have spawned back. Just see if there's any uh, name trolls. Like anyone who's got a yellow name tag or name bar on top of their head. You have a tanner attacking you it seems like. On my way. No closer human. Soon my teeth will take Wait, you me. got killed again! Getting supply crates that will help us later on. Ooh, some food. Hundred and thirty one percent encumbered. That's what oh. Uh okay, since you've gone near the spawn point, just dump it into the uh uh, the artisan table or something. Oh, dude. Uh, Oywind Tall Tree. Uh, named performer. I wanna get this guy. There are two performers here. But the named one is chasing me. So I'm gonna try and get him. What the heck? Oh, dude, Alchemist named one. What the? Get your truncheon. I'm trying to knock both of them out. Oh my god, this guy's got a uh, great sword. Great sword is bad. Great sword is bad. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Run, stupid run. Where did this one come from? Here. Oh crap! Uh. I'm trying to get Rocker the uh, Alchemist. But I'm getting into trouble. Ooh, that was close. Okay, got the alchemist named one. I'm gonna dump him into the uh, 
converter. Uh, go near the bonfire that uh, Oywind guy is going to be there, the named dancer. Let's try to get that one guy for now. Although I don't want to get the male dancer, but eh, what can we do? Where are you anyway? Oh, okay, you're there. Come on, big boy. Let's go. Knockout time. Come on. Oh, crap, he got a hit on me. Got him. Got him. Okay, also, what was this here? Master weapon repair kit. Which weapon should I repair? Uh, can it repair this one? Yes, it can. Nice. And way better. Okay, got uh, the dancer boy. Now to see if we can get. Lucky with a uh, armor smith, especially. Uh, come with me. This is what I usually do. Uh, so basically, you run all the way up till here just to reset the camp over there. Cross this tree on top, go all the way to the edge of this rock here. Don't fall off, take a U-turn and then it would have reset, basically. This is what I do. Uh, hoping that uh, we get a name troll. I mean, we are getting name trolls, but armor smith is what I want and a blacksmith. The others are obviously pretty easy to get at any point of time. Also, the loot boxes, they also kind of reset. Oh, jeez, what the heck? Oh, getting ganged up, Dande. You brought them to me again, Ezio. <laughs> Every time, Ezio. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Everyone's got the same moveset, eh? Oh boy, okay, we need this guy. Named uh, Supply Bearer, I, I want that guy. I want to have a Supply Bearer named one. Just run outside the uh, thing. Run out, run out. I mean, run outside the camp. Don't go too far away. I don't want to reset that guy. You know what? Give me this. Uh oh. Where did you come from, buddy? God. I'm taking this one, this one, and also, oh, it was you, sheesh, you scared me. What the heck? Are you kidding me, Ezio? I'm gonna die, dude. You stupid, crazy person. I was over encumbered. Nanda, yo. 
Jeez. <laughs> Every time, dude. I'm gonna switch it up with this. Much better. Mess it up for the named one now. If that guy is not here, okay, he's there. Nice, done. Going out. Now this guy will help us carry stuff and also I don't think they've fixed it yet but uh, these guys have some really good amount of HP when it comes to health ah. stats okay what's his name again wait what the heck Is he done? Oh, he's done already. What? I didn't know that. Let's see if we can find a named armor smith is supposed to be always towards the end over here. Nope. That's not him. Carpenter and a priest. We don't need that. Okay, time to reset again, but this time uh, go towards the blacksmith area on the top. Up the stairs. Nope. Usually the named ones are slightly taller. Oh boy. They're slightly taller. We can kind of... Uh... Wait, who's that chasing you still? Oh, Smelter, take him out. Oh, you split him in half. Sheesh. You haven't tried any of the finishers, have you? They suddenly stop at the least amount of health. Like, literally, like, one health or something, they'll stop. They're supposed to have, like, stunned animations, but they don't have it on this map for some reason. Some of the NPCs, at least. So, you wanna kind of... Wait and see if they still attack you after they reach that one health or something. And then go close to them and do one attack or something. Light attack or heavy attack, you'll do a finisher. Basically. Ooh, dude, you want daggers? Hardened steel daggers. Full durability. And you can use it for heavy attacks to put uh, bleed stacks on them. Just make sure you don't go up against a... Uh, Spear user. Spear users have some ranged pokey pokey damage. Okay, let's go reset them again. Seems like uh, we didn't get any named ones. Or actually, you know what? I'm gonna go inside here. I'm going after a spear guy. Real bad idea. Okay, that was a good one. Wait, did you get killed? Oh, what the? 
Is that a name, Dancer? I saw a dancer. Are you a named one? I don't know. She looks like a named one. Oh jeez. Ah, uh, that's a level 2 dancer. Man, she looks pretty though. She looks pretty. Pretty. I got punching daggers. <laughs> I want to try it out now. He's always bringing enemies towards me, Nanda. You enjoy them now. I'm gonna switch to punching daggers. Yeah. <laughs> I just did a finisher. That was awesome. Yeah, boy. I saw a level 2 dancer. She was kind of pretty, but... Eh. Shall we go reset it one more time and then we can kind of finish up for today? We'll move to the base tomorrow. Yeah, one more reset. Let's go back. Oh, Wolfie is back. Got the reset. Going and checking now. Tomorrow, uh, while I kind of set up camp, you can kind of... Or while I kind of construct or something. You want big boss? Yeah, okay. We'll go get it then. You have gold, right? How much gold do you have? Check. Usually every 30 minutes we get uh, 10 gold, so... You should probably have enough. Nice, got a hardened steel pick. On my way. I'm taking out one guy. If you want, you can use a shield, dude. They have like good... Uh, this guy has like a hardened steel shield. You can use it with that weapon if you want. I'm um, taking the supply materials. Oh, hello. I could make my character look all dancer-like, but armor level will go down. 
I don't want to get into trouble. Did you get taken down? Oh crap. <laughs> you got killed as yo. Some guys were chasing me, they saw you standing simply, they went after you instead. Eh, uh, yeah. Get away from me as yo, don't stay near me, I got a huge mob coming towards me. Oh my god, that's a... Whoa, we got a cool looking dancer again. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Nani! Oh jeez! Oh come on! I got killed. Uh, cook we already have, dude. Like, uh, what the heck? Why am I stuck here? Look, we have like a named one. Remember, we got him in uh, Sepper Meru. What is this? No way. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, what the heck? You teleported to me because I died. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna see. If there's anything else here? I don't think there's anything else, dude. Shall we get out of here? We'll just uh, finish up for today. Tomorrow we'll move all the things. Uh... 
Yeah, we'll do that. I'll pick up the uh, extra heavy thing. Yep. I don't have daggers, otherwise I would have used the daggers to move faster. We'll finish up here itself. No, no don't pick it up. Let it be here only. Uh, we have to go to... Or we'll go to Muran itself right now. You want to get your... Yeah, okay. Let me just dump the heavy boys into... The inventory here. Uh, what else is heavy? At most, yeah, that one. I really I have uh, hardened bricks, like mm. 287 of it. Mm. Also, I got a hardened pick. Uh, here, I'll give you the steel pick which I had. Dropping the steel pick. Did you take it? Cold. Okay. Oh, wait. What do you have in here? That's a whole lot of stuff, dude. I'm gonna eat up. Um... Shopkeeper's key is not that heavy. Uh, potions are gonna be heavy. You made a lot of it, it seems like. The other stuff, you can leave it here. It's not a big deal. Stray cat also. Now, we'll do one thing. Uh, we'll just dump all of it. I'll take the twine, actually. Twine would actually come in handy. Take your water skin, by the way, if you want. Don't leave the water skin. In the table. Mm -hmm. I got over encumbered again on the... Run, boy. Yeah, do one thing. If you want, uh, you take a shortcut swimming. Uh, you see that one uh, plus mark sign kind of a thing on the map? There's this one uh, protruding part of the land which has like a plus mark on it, like a harbor or something. What the heck? Incoming. <laughs> Yeah, I took him out. Or actually, just run with me, dude. It's fine. I keep going straight. Cross the bridge that you were at. From the bridge, just keep going straight. Because we're going to one of the fast travel points right now. But when coming back to that fast travel point from Muran, it'll cost us like 200 or something bronze. So we need to have some gold coins. I'll see if I can get some from uh, the bank. Or maybe we can make some.
Yeah, don't worry about the uh, NPCs on the left side. Just keep going straight. They probably shout or something. If they see us, if not, never mind. Actually, I think. Uh, somewhere over here. Probably better get like a travel horse itself, or you want to get the elk itself, is it? You like the elk? Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> it's your gold. You do what you want. Let's finish it up for today. After we go there, just wait for a little bit. After every fast travel, make sure you don't run immediately. Things might be lowering in. And also since we use too many mods. So yeah, Caravan Master unlocked. So here we go. See, if you uh, interact with her, you can see that it's free of cost oh, yeah, for Muran outskirts. Free of charge. Okay. Click on that. Let's go. Free of charge. Yeah. So that one, it's the first one we unlocked, the fast travel point. So that will be free of charge. If we had unlocked this one first instead of Muran, then that one would have been free of charge. So that's a nice way of putting things. Okay. I'm gonna park right over here. And it's also getting to be night time. So I'll put up a tent for us as well. We got a tent from uh, one of the boxes. Which I'm gonna put that up. Uh, can I put it up here? Yeah, I can put it. I think I can put it here. Nah. Ah, yeah. It got destroyed if I picked it up. Nanda. Lame. Check it. I'll put up our usual TP. You got your, uh, buddy boy. I'm placing my bedroll in here just in case. Why are you putting the elk saddle here, Nandi? What you doing, Mister? Mister, sister. Okay, one second. I want to see how much gold I have now. 99 gold. Also, we have the Exiles Extreme treasure chest here. You may want to learn the uh, knowledge and then craft the uh, treasure chest in your... Uh, what do you call that? In your hand crafting or something. Exiles Extreme. Learned it. Now I can use all the items in here. Let's see, what can I get from here? Uh, the fish mask or something would be helpful, right? Yeah, we need like uh, 15 steel and one crocodile head. Crocodile, we can find it uh, behind this place easily. Or do you have any crocodile head by any chance? No, right. Yeah, me neither. Okay. We can uh, settle here itself for today. 
Well, let me put up a light. And we'll continue tomorrow. Uh, shout out to those of you who watch the streams later on. Hope you guys enjoyed that bit of a co-op gameplay. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, eto sayonara, etata, S-U-N-A. Bye-bye. As yo, into the TP. Or actually, stay outside the TP itself. What are you doing, Ezio? See? <laughs> You're always up to something. Ciao for now. I'm done. I'm gonna finish up with today's stream. Shout out to Beardman, Ezio, Chiru, and also G Knight for joining me on the stream chat and in the game. Uh, shout out to those of you who will watch this later on or who are watching it anonymously. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this bit of a co-op gameplay which we will continue whenever as you get some free time. Uh, let's see what we have in store ahead for us because of Ezio. I got killed today because of Ezio. I got over encumbered exactly at the right moment too when you ran across me. I picked up something really heavy at the last minute, went above 100%, I got killed. <laughs> Anyways, ciao, I'm done. See you as you, I'll catch up uh, later. I'm gonna be off, I have to restart the PC now. Because of that weird screen freeze thing. Yeah, ciao. I'm done for now.